<laughs> Good one, trails off. <laughs> I want to talk about the economy for a second. I don't know if the I, I what the hell. No, it makes this is something I'm very well versed in. No, honestly, yes, we're all suffering at some. I, so filthy B. <laughs> Bill Gates has yeah. come out and says, as things get back to semi-normal, it's impossible to overstate the pain that lies for years ahead. Mark Cuban has come out and said that like people are underestimating just how dramatic the impact to the economy is going to be and mm -hmm. how long it's going to take to get back. Mm -hmm. For me, nothing's changed. It's like almost weird that like no outside way. the world has flipped around. <laughs> I'm just sitting no here one... playing Tarkov making PKA episodes like I always do. And I feel like I, I, I couldn't have my thumb on the pulse of what's happening out there any less. And I, <laughs> do you, do you might, all right. So the, uh, obviously, cause we live in very different communities, right? Sure. It is glaringly apparent for me every day. Cause I have a dog. I, ha I have to walk him multiple times a day. It's glaringly apparent living where I live in mm -hmm. Hollywood, like the severity of this, um, I, for the first time, so we've been in quarantine, like lockdown, you can't do shit for 45 days now. Um, and uh, I have like a local grocery store. I go there. They put up like plexiglass walls. There's markings on the floor, how close you can stand close to the cash register. There's, um, you know, it, like the whole works. I'm sure everybody understands it now. I drove to Malibu just to drive my car i just wanted to leave and drive and I, it took me half the time in total to go all the way to malibu and back to where i am not a soul on the beach because they're closed like mm -hmm. it is very eerie almost like walking dead-esque where any time that i'm up in the morning walking my dog i live on a super busy street there's no cars it's it's nothing like it is it is a shocking Right. No, for me, you're right. It actually is. I get to sleep with my window open now because my next door neighbors who run a landscaping company don't have to get in their car at 430 in the morning and start it up. Right. And I'm mm -hmm. in an apartment complex. so I hear that shit. So like it's 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 very much I, I think that maybe maybe where you live and you have like a my parents are the Auto same way that compound, in, you're saying. Right. Yeah. And his compound. My parents live in Durham um, mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, we walk the you know we walk around every night like it's pretty Dude, normal like, can, can i jump in there's more foot yeah. traffic by my house than normal like the way my house is on the edge of this neighborhood if you I've were to go yeah. if you were to go for a walk you might you know walk around my house in that street mm -hmm. and uh i'm mowing i'm like damn like this, I don't, it's, to say it's packed is a wild exaggeration but like there's lots of people you know couples walking their dogs like everyone's sort of right. getting outside and the way that they do it is they walk around my house but uh, it's fine. It's no big deal. But like, I don't know. I'm, yeah, I'm my, just my neighborhood is the insulated. same way. Like, I see mm -hmm. way, way more people walking around with their dogs, jogging, like the paths around, you know, my house in the woods mm -hmm. and stuff. Like, yeah, they're packed. Do they not have nice, packed, like, but, city but they're not packed, though. You, you got to, yeah. like, you got to realize that a lot of people don't like you you using the word packed is very different in a suburb. Packed is like you see exactly. somebody walk in front of your house every five minutes, right? Yeah. 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 Right. They're like packed in the middle of a city, way different, you know? So I think sure. that you like people who can have the luxury of leaving their home and like being at an acceptable social distance are taking advantage of it. I know my parents are doing just that. Like mm -hmm. they're walking five times a day. I'm like, okay, yeah, fair. I can't like, I can do that, but you know, there's much more dense population. So, um, I like for us, we're really lucky, you know, I mm -hmm. Twitch and YouTube has been actually really, really good in the last yeah. couple months, even though like all of my physical hosting gigs have gotten canceled, which suck because they pay the best. Um, but you're right. Like it is kind of weird to be in a position where like your industry, esports, anything like digital content creation kind of thriving in its own way mm -hmm. and really like bringing a bunch of people who weren't necessarily in to tech like zoom conferences for your for your entire college class etc like it's it's doing a good job onboarding new people that are going to use the internet differently post but i'm pretty yeah. interested in figuring out what isn't going to go back to normal right that's the stuff like we don't know now we're like a couple months in right i cannot wait for face masks everywhere all right like we're long overdue man asia got that right ages ago like airports uh, you know, there's not a chance you're going to see me sitting in an airplane <clears throat> packed in with sardines 
without a face mask. I understand that like there's numerical, like it's not going to be a hundred percent, but like, like really though, the, the way that we were operating They're too small for my head. Oh, face masks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you just gotta, I can't you tell just if you're joking, Taylor. Taylor. Help me out. Used to. I'll be fine. Taylor <laughs> grabs a t-shirt. I mean, it's going to be like pre nine 11 post nine 11, right? Like flying before nine eleven, where you. But just... I think it's going to be like in a bunch of industries we don't expect, right? Like that's what's going to be interesting. Like to me. thinking so like so six so months, like what's going to be different? Restaurants like, are going to get uh, small. Restaurants are fucking hosed, and I feel like we're going to come out of this and it's gonna be like, where do you want to go? P.F. Chang's or T.J. Really? Fridays? I don't think that. I think we're going to see a lot of takeout. Around. Yeah, I oh, think you're going to see. So I have a friend who I have a friend who runs a. This is incredibly niche story so take it with a very big grain of salt mm -hmm. my friend owns a bagel place in la they make all their bagels in house um this place is fucking slammed on the weekends like i will not go there on the weekends because it's everybody's hangover like let's go get some breakfast bagels currently or before C before okay. prior yeah. to the quarantine um since then I, I used to, I love bagels so much, man. I used to get like three, four times a week. I would get like some combination of bagels and coffee from this place. I have only been there twice since then. However, their, their individual uh, orders have decreased, but the profit, um, it's like a weird metric. The way that he described it was like the profit that we are earning per hour is double, if not triple what we would be earning wow. Previously, it's just that they are paying their employees more for for risk, you know, risk at risk pay. Um, you know, they have to shell out a little bit more for advertising for like delivery services. They hired a delivery guy who now drives around. So like it's not for that specific, very niche company. It's it's not bad or good. It's just different. I don't think that you're going to see a lot of people going into Cheesecake Factory if they lift the quarantine right like a 500 person you know restaurant a lot of but i do think you'll see more likely people eating at local restaurants where they're like we only allow 30 people in here and you have to sit six feet away i think there's going to be more of like a tight if 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 it's available i think well, two things that that. Well, there was a study coming out somewhere talking about um air conditioning spreading air conditioning in a restaurant spreading it beyond yep. the oh re trip, recycled air yeah, yeah. yeah but but the second thing i think about that is i think you might see restaurants that open that are never designed to be eaten in right you mean like, like straight up takeout only or yeah, like um yeah exactly on a related note be much more of that I think you're right. And uh, like Postmates is one of our sponsors tonight. I could imagine them getting a lot of new customers that like once they've broken that seal, they remain customers afterwards. Maybe they go out sometimes, but once they try it, then, you know, they, maybe now they do it three times a week and they do I'm, it once a I'm week. I'm one of those somebody. people. Yeah. I think there's going to be a vaccine in about 18 months and this is not going to be a worry at all. No, but no, I, no, now, I, I agree that there is going to be a, or I would love for there to be a vaccine and I would love for there to be a return to some semblance of normalcy, but I find it hard to believe that as of right now, like if we get a vaccine and everything, I find it hard to believe that people are not going to take what it's like it's like when you overcorrect too much like they're, they're it's going to shift everybody to the yeah, more this is changing how people behave uh, i yeah. absolutely disagree with that i, I think all you really? have to do is yeah all you have to do is look at the news or um i don't know the internet and you'll see tons of people in parks and stuff having to be arrested you, lots of is, i saw karen get arrested at a place i saw lab. karen get it yeah I, I just watched that like before this, i came on but but do, do you not think that that is selection bias? Because when I drove, no. I think that's how people feel. Really? Because I, I, I thought I, I thought the polls were showing something like eighty percent of people support the continued lockdown. Sure, so they that support means it. You're much. But sure, absolutely they do. For now, I'm talking about we're talking about next year though, right? We're talking about like you're you guys are talking about long lasting ramifications. We talked about nine eleven right. and how right. Things are still not the same. Before 9-11, you could just jump on that airplane. You didn't think you could run in an airport. You see a guy running in an airport right now. You are taking your own fucking life in your hands. They don't think he's trying mm -hmm. to get to a flight quickly. They think, bomb. They Nobody took their shoes off before 9-11. Things are never going back to the same as far as that goes. With this, however, I really do think You're as soon as there's a vaccine for this. You know what I think it, this I think, is? If I'm I can jump right in, I, I feel like this is a red versus blue thing. And I say that by looking at my Facebook, right? The the liberals are all like, stay quarantined, stay inside. Uh, you know, they could 
flatten the curve and the rootin' tootin' Confederate flag wearing gun toting guys are like, this thing is a fraud. This virus only is had not the as one big brush, a deal. Huh? <laughs> Where'd you move? Yeah, the, he's not wrong. I, I get where you're coming from. Yeah, you from. should see him. Like the, that. That is what I see on my on my Facebook. Like there's kind of a, right. a political divide. And when it should. I mean, be you've got a gaggle of retards based. on your Facebook. We have much bigger than a gaggle. <laughs> I have been shocked. I've been fucking shocked at the number of people who've forgotten how germ theory works. Right, like. You know, like, I, I didn't feel like this. I mean, yes, there's some political elements of how it's being politic, politicized, right? Mm -hmm. But this isn't this isn't rocket science understanding this as the fucking bystander, right? This is a disease. It spreads. It spreads through the normal way that diseases right. spread. This is pretty Sounds clear like how this liberal fucking works. propaganda to me, filthy. No, no. All right, <laughs> well, the, the, the meaningful changes that I'm specifically talking about are ones that are inherently limited to large mass gatherings, like... Uh, as somebody who goes to a concerts. lot of concerts and shows, I will continuously be wearing, this was already very prevalent in that community, wear a face mask, right? Like that is now just going to be a reality. Um, I, I don't think that you're going to see people that anybody who is going to live through this and is like, all right, that was fun. I guess we're back to normal. I don't think that there's any, like, there's nothing that any like virus is going to do short of killing everyone. They know that's going to change the way that they behave in public spaces. But I do really believe that, uh, like, from my friend group and the general people of my age in Los Angeles, so, again, very small sample size, very interesting group of people, not a single person that I've talked to is like, yeah, no, we're definitely going to just go back to normal. Every single person has some, like, drawback or mm -hmm. some, like, uh, like reassessment of how they're going to live post all this. Is anyone Generational, just, like, it's, it's or... almost less of a... Well, there is some political divide. That's true. But, like, I'm seeing an age divide more than anything for it. It's where definitely it's more young, age. Young people are like, hey, we should probably stay at home and mm -hmm. make this a really bad quarantine that really harms the economy. But we mostly, you know, narrow the level the curve. And then we come back and it's not a huge resurgence. Whereas older people are like, just fucking do it now. It'll be fine. It, it, it'll be okay. And it's I like, think it's no, middle-aged people. Switzerland did it. I, 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 I agree. It's middle-aged it's it's middle people. people. It's boomers. It's not the 80 plus. It's the boomers. My, I love you to death, mom and dad. I just talked to you today. You guys <laughs> Fucking idiot! So you much. were so <laughs> scared when I talked so to you. Dumb. I was so proud. I was just, <laughs> my I was mom literally... cried. I, oh my! I, <laughs> when I saw dad and I saw his hands tremble, I saw that weakness in him. I knew that's good dad. That's good dad. <laughs> he's yeah. he's staying quarantined. I know he is. No, but you're right though. It's the boomers. And your parents aren't the Tucker. No the boomers. I mean, to the an extent, how old like, is a boomer? Yeah, baby boomers. Like we're boomers talking is over we're talking... sixteen at the moment on Twitch. So <laughs> I, 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 yeah, right. I'd say, I'd say tentatively anybody over the age of 50 and below the age of 70, like that's oh. like the core I, group of people to me, what do 40 you think, to Kyle? 55? Uh, that's the core group of that's people. That's literally it, not a boomer. That's why I boomer asked. Is a, boomer is a Welcome to the is, internet. That right, is, right. Boomer is a state of mind. Boomer is <laughs> that yeah. boomers cares about. <laughs> 40 to no, I think 40 to 55, because at 40, you're, you're still young enough to be like, this is, yeah. And you've got your own ideas, but by fifty-five, you're like you're still think you you're young and healthy enough to like fight off a virus. But right. by sixty, you're like, Whew. no. I mean, my uh... parents are sixty-six and sixty-two, and my grandparents who are eighty-eight and ninety. Christ, uh, my yeah, oh, my grandma. They've been quarantined. They're in North Carolina too, and gave them a call for their birthday. And my grandma, who's like, I've you know, very not loose in general like gets on the phone just goes well tucker i think i'm probably gonna die if i catch this so if this is the last <laughs> time i talk to you i love you and i was like that's the most coherent thing you've ever said like, <laughs> she was like, like, she's just like making gallows humor jokes about it like convinced she's dead Grandma. if she gets it yeah, I like yeah. It. right but you know not that's not the typical response i hope i, I do get mom. it i'm gonna go on that rampage i always talked about <laughs> <laughs> run down to harris teeter and just touch all the fruits <laughs> just to touch everything man <laughs> man you're thinking of rabies it's totally different <laughs> my, my, uh, you, you know thankful. do you know rabies is a hundred percent deadly like like we talk yeah, about if yeah you don't get it, if you don't get like, it if cured, untreated it's fucked. yeah uh, yeah yeah it, well i mean yeah um uh actually but it's it, a long lead it, in it, right? it well, there's a point where there is no treatment for it, I believe. Yeah, if it gets and, to oh, a critical mass, 
it like you could show up at the doctor and still not be totally fucked and they'll just tell you like yeah this is too late sorry you're gonna die of rabies like there's just no way to stop can't it. you try crazy you got any of them stem cells we're just what gonna you put you in a, a cage some bat antibody that's something yeah. that is aren't bats one of those animals that it's Try like cooking. all of them have rabies. In a platypus. No, no, yeah. but they, no, no, they no it's not all, but it's a, yeah. a ton of them. Like way more than other kinds of animals. Yeah, I feel yeah, like right. I think if you get tagged raccoons. by a bat, that's the thing. Always. God, I read some article it was referring to. They're like, yeah, the bat popula the bird population is a reservoir for the coronavirus. And I'm like, oh, fuck birds. We don't need them. Yeah, yeah. fuck birds. What, you I mean think... government drones? <laughs> Here's the thing, yeah. though. You can't fuck with ecosystems because I bet. I know. This, this Watch is us. Awesome. <laughs> this is just me. This is just me talking here. But like, what if like, what if they were like, yeah, these bats are carrying these viruses. Let's kill all the bats, and they kill the bats, and then you realize, oh shit, bats ate their body weight in mosquitoes every night. Now mm -hmm. we've got so many mosquitoes, and they're spreading this new plague. I, like, I, I think that you need the bats. Right. What you we need, need to do we is need them. leave the bats alone. <laughs> Did you see the thing about letting Stop. wolves come back? Yeah, I saw that thing about oh, the Yellowstone. Yeah. The Yellowstone. Wait, the beavers, uh, the otters, the, the muskrats, thing? the birds. They, yeah. they, they changed I don't know everything. If yeah. The thing I saw said where it could have been Yellowstone. But Yellowstone. Yeah. It, was it? it was Yellowstone. They introduced twelve wolves back in the ecosystem. It completely changed the entire topography. Not topography. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, like topography. mountains were. Raised. I usually hear about. Yeah. <laughs> They That's built right. a fucking volcano out there. <laughs> the, the walls were wild. I know Blade Truth is coming, but yeah, it was amazing. I would if you had told me, hey, we introduced wolves and then wolves ate the coyotes and suddenly the rabbits did better, I'd be like, Oh, okay, I get it. But no, there was so much. Like birds were coming better. back, plants were coming back. Every like these wolves were so essential to this place and it was it was pretty cool.